Hello folks and welcome to a Smurp video. Today I'm looking at Wolverine and the X-Men. So basically what happened, there was X-Men schism and Wolverine and Cyclops disagreed. Wolverine wanted to open the new school and bam, he's got his own title. So this omnibus is quite elusive nowadays. Um, very hard to find and if you're lucky enough to fight on eBay, in the bidding wars you may get it for a reasonable price but um i would as always try to recommend not to spend too much unless money. you're of course loaded so the cover's really nice we've got some bamps on there and we've got all the kids that are involved on this in the story we've got idol we've got quinton we've got blindfold we've got brew and we've got kid gladiator you know and these 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 kids are what make this this book pretty damn awesome so the side is the usual marvel omnibus and it's got the white which is pretty much what it was and it's by jason aaron which is a pretty awesome writer he tells a pretty decent story he's told the wolverine stories i believe around the same sort of time i've not read them if i'm honest but they're meant to be pretty cool uh here's the back and i think that sums it up oh it is a lot of fun, this book. Um, Uncanny X-Men at this point was very, uh, I think, very dark. It had Scott's Revolution. So a completely different vibe to this. So you got 1 to 35, 38 to 42, and the annual number one, which I think is like the final issue, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong. It's been a while since I've read this series. So... Why didn't I get this omnibus at the beginning, um, when it first came out? Basically, I had all the books, so I didn't. But I took this new direction where I'm only interested now in getting omnibuses because they look pretty awesome on shelves instead of having lots and lots of graphic novels. And I've got Marvel Unlimited if I need to read anything else, to be fair. So that's the reason why I didn't get it, and that's the reason why I paid a, a little bit more. Um, I don't think... I spent much more than the original price, which I suspect at the beginning you probably would have paid 60 quid. I paid 80. That's not bad going if, in that case, or that fault, that's how I see it, I guess. It's an investment anyway. Um, hey, I like it. So, behind the dust cover, you get the kind of faculty. So, you obviously got Logan. You got Toad, who's the janitor. Beast. Rachel Gray on the side there, which is pretty awesome. Iceman. And then you got some of the kids. I think that's Kitty, Paige, and Grack Grackful. I can't remember how you say it out loud. But um, he's like the kid of the adult version from way back in whatever issue. What well, must be like 50 or something. I can't remember. But um. Yeah, it's kind of cool, and you know, this all comes together in this fun, fun book, and this fun, fun series. So let's um, have a look at some of the pages. Okay, and here is the opening page. Yeah, you got to love a bit of dupe in this. What does dupe do? He looks like he sleeps all day. He does a hell of a lot. <laughs> Just stuff you don't want to know about. And I like this because it gives um, reference to all the people that work hard on these issues. The letterers, the colorers. The inkers, the pencilers, etc., etc. So I think that's kind of cool. And they obviously do change throughout the series quite a bit. And there's just some fun stuff at the bottom. I always join the enjoy the fact that you get to see some of the the cover art as well. Uh, this moment was pretty cool with Xavier, and he pretty much says, "Hey, you got to have lots of lots of money to um to keep up with um the school, basically." And that's pretty much how it looks in, in Wolverine and the X-Men. You know, you've got some pretty advanced technology in this series in terms of the school and how it's protected, etc. And there's danger rooms in your closet, in your toilets, etc. So, you know, they, they really do branch out in this series. I like the fact that it's a complete disaster with the people coming to approve the school as well. Um, and somehow Beast saves the day and makes them forget or something like i said i've not read it for a long time uh, wolverine also has to share his x force details with the likes of beast and shadow cat 
uh, and they pretty much don't obviously agree but you know it's Wolverine he carries on doing stuff as long as it doesn't affect the school that's all that matters to this me. was um, in fact something that really annoyed me Angel getting the whole clean slate kind of thing through the seed and he's like a blank slate and I'm pretty sure he's still kind of a blank slate now last time I read he was just a killing machine um, but Warren being gone was kind of you know it was kind of a bit weird. Okay, we see the potential of them in the future. And Kid Apocalypse, um, Evan, is probably the most interesting character out of this series as well, which is um, pretty cool. We also see uh, Kitty getting pregnant by the Brood um, in attempt to kill Brew, if I remember correctly. Fun times. We also see um, Bobby kissing Kitty and they kind of date and it doesn't really last for very long. And we also see Wolverine's legs get mangled. I like this. This is pretty awesome. <laughs> uh, we also see the Avengers versus X-Men series which came about the same sort of time as this. Sorry, I think the revolution happened just after this. After that, sorry. After the Avengers vs X-Men, that's when the revolution comes in. Um... It was alright. I'm not a fan of it, if I'm honest with you. We get Paige. Paige goes through some um, some crazy times. She kind of turns evil from not ripping her skin or something crazy like uh, that. The Hellfire Club also brings in a new um, kind of brotherhood of evil <laughs> mutants. Uh, the I want I always like mentioning the bind. The bind is always is quite sturdy, quite solid, and you know the fact that I can do this quite nicely without worrying about it. It's quite nice. Bearing in mind, this is obviously a smaller than normal book because it's only got like what 40, 40 odd issues in so it. So this series ended up in ended in twenty fourteen, and you know you get a nice um, afterword from Jason, which is quite cool. And then this is kind of what was um, happening at the beginning, things to come, which is quite quite cool. And then we get a. This was a really nice piece done over um, across the series where you've got pretty much most characters. And this is some um, costume art. Dance, which is cool. I didn't like Rachel in this outfit. It kind of felt like, hey, I'm a hound again. So I don't know what. I mean, Really, it didn't really feel kind of right. Um, I can't remember her what she wore in the eighties or Excalibur. I remember she wore like a black kind of T-shirt for a long time. Get some nice art here. Let me take it a bit closer. Just this is like the process of how they get to that point, I guess. some letter columns from issue two uh, that's pretty much it uh, and, and then we get the Jean Grey life tweet which um, I think I have to have a look at it but it looks like a lot of fun and this is how Logan ended in the series hey whiskey the end okay so just to show you a kind of size comparison here it is next to new X-Men, which I think went for a, a few more issues and is a bit bigger. So you can really see the kind of difference in the size compared to a larger omnibus. So pretty much, that's pretty much it. Looks quite, it still holds its own, I think. And, you know, it's a shame that we didn't get the, what's it, like the final 12 issues from Wolverine and the X-Men's run where he, um, well, he, he died basically, which I'm hoping you know um, by now, I guess. So I find that a bit of a shame. I think it would have bulked this up a bit and I think it would have just been more that kind of final product. So 
I don't know whether when they released this they didn't know that that second run was going to end so soon. Or perhaps they thought, hey, this is, this is the one volume. And we'll do another volume for that, I guess. I don't know. So all in all, a fantastic omnibus to have. I'm really glad that I've got it and added it to my collection. And I'm looking forward to reading it again and remembering how fun it, it, this series actually was. So thank you for watching. Follow me on Instagram. Facebook mainly is where I do most of my stuff. Uh, Smurd P. And I'm on Twitter. I don't know exactly what I'm doing, but I'll check me out on that as well. Uh, thank you. Take care. Embrace the geekiness. Good night. Good day. Goodbye.